Meet Birdie, a mild-mannered King Charles Cavalier toy poodle mix I stole from my in-laws house to film this video. Birdie is the second dog I've enlisted to help me test out PetNet's $149 smart feeder. A Wi-Fi food bowl with a built-in reservoir that holds up to 7 pounds of dry dog or cat food. The smart feeder's main selling point is that it dispenses portion meals automatically, adding convenience to your daily routine. But it also offers extra features to help improve your pet's health, including nutritional stats on their specific type of food and recommended feeding amounts based on their age, weight, and activity level. The smart feeder comes with a power adapter, but it can also run on a rechargeable battery for up to seven hours. And the related PetNet app houses all of the details of your pet's scheduled feedings. But there's a huge problem with this product's design. It doesn't fully dispense food. Yes, annoyingly, all of the food gets dispensed, but a portion pretty much always gets stuck in this weirdly designed no man's land space between the reservoir and the bowl. I tried different quantities of food and even different brands of food to no avail. Unless the portions are very small, say at or under a half cup, some of the food will likely remain out of reach. What is it, Birdie? Megan, 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 the food is stuck, the food is stuck, I want food, I want food, Megan, Megan, Megan. Okay, let me get the ramp. PetNet is aware of this issue and offers a free ramp accessory separately to provide a steeper angle to allow the food to come out. But that doesn't change the fact that the smart feeder's design is fundamentally flawed. And on one occasion, it even caused the dispenser to jam. So what do you think, Birdie? Should people buy PetNet's smart feeder? Unfortunately, that's a no.